So we have this Bronco looking pretty good, but it's still a bit rough. What I want to do here is let's save a new copy of this design just in case we want to go back to this. We'll have it as it looks here. So let's go save as and just call this Bronco Corel Draw 2 and tap save. You know, I'm looking at this tailgate and I think it would look a lot better actually if it had more dark in it. With vehicles and actually illustrations in general, I like to get a nice 50-50 white and black balance. So in other words, inside the shape of this Bronco, I'd like it to be half black and half white. This just kind of lends to a nice balance. If I turn off the visibility of all layers but this one, and I go to the edit a curve tool, I can select this and you'll see if I just drag these points around, I'm revealing the darker version of this background. So I'm going to turn back on the visibility of these other layers, but I'm going to drag around these points just to reveal kind of the nice dark sections of this tailgate. And I was kind of losing the back fender here. So I want to show that as well. So now I think we have a lot better black and white balance. Let's lock all of these objects. And let's also make a new layer, layer, new layer. Let's begin to draw in some vector shapes with a pen tool. You'll see like these textured areas in the tailgate here are pretty messy. This trailer hitch is really messy. There's some wires down here. There's reflections in the windows, stuff like that. We kind of want to get rid of to clean this thing up. So what I can do here is let's just start to draw in some just vector shapes and you want to do this pretty quickly. You don't want to spend a lot of time on it. And I'm going to just assign this an orange color kind of so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to go around this whole vehicle and block in shapes that I want to fill in black. I'm going to make them orange at first, just so you can see them. And then I'll eventually assign them black. So with some of these window shapes, you'll see there's reflections in here. And I just want to draw clean vector shapes on top of them. And this is going to go white, but right now I'll just assign it red. And you'll see there's a palm tree reflection here in this window. I think that looks pretty cool, but it does add to the messiness. So let's just draw over that. So I've blocked out most of these shapes and you can see where I'll be going here in a minute. The last thing I want to do is there's going to be some areas where we just need some light line work. For instance, the edge of the Bronco here, I've just drawn a stroke. So these don't all have to be fills. You can draw strokes. And I may draw in a stroke here to hold in this roof line and the outer edge of the top of the vehicle here. And then in the front, I'm going to do the same thing. The problem is in the front, we can't see where this hood line is. So what we can do is we can go in here and turn on the visibility of that bottom photographic layer and just turn off the visibility of some of the black and white layers we have above that, just so we can see where the edges of this vehicle are. So let's go back up into our top layer here and I'll finish this off with some strokes. So I think that's looking pretty well defined. Let's go in here and turn everything that's orange into black. And then after that, we'll turn everything that's red into white. And I think this is starting to look really good. The only areas that sort of bother me are these tires, which I just approximated the bottom of them. And we could just pull these points around until they start to look correct. Let me turn off the visibility 
of this top layer too with all the clean vector shapes. Here it's looking pretty rough and if I turn those shapes back on you can see how far we've come.